Hello and welcome to our intro tutorial on how to get started with Air Console game development. In case you don't know anything about Air Console yet, we recommend you give it a go on airconsole.com, where you can play party games on your computer, tablet or Android TV using your smartphones as controllers. This tutorial shows you how to get started with Air Console development in Unity. First of all, you should install and open the Unity editor. Any of the 2017 or 2018 versions will do for this. Head over to the Asset Store, search for Air Console, and install the Air Console Unity plugin. Make sure to import everything here. You can also download the repository from GitHub. In Asset's Air Console examples, there are various example scenes that we recommend you look at. They explain and showcase different types of smartphone controls and various best practices for making Air Console games. The example scripts for both screen and controller can be used as a reference or to copy and paste relevant parts. For this tutorial though, let's create a new scene and controller from scratch. Let's start by creating a new scene. Set the camera background to a solid color. In the scene we create an Air Console game object using game object create other Air Console. Next we'll need a controller HTML file. For that we make a copy of the empty template controller which can be found in assets Air Console extras. Let's assign it to the Air Console object right away. In the controller file, we'll add a button in HTML, we'll format it to be in the center of the screen in CSS, and we'll make it send a message to the screen when tapped in JavaScript using the Air Console API. We'll add an image for the button by putting one in our Assets WebGL Templates Air Console folder and assigning it in our style sheet. In Unity, we create a C-sharp script that will be our game logic. The script needs to use the Air Console and Newtonsoft JSON link namespaces. In order to receive messages, we register the onMessage event in Awake. To keep this example simple, we'll just make the camera background switch to a random color when the screen receives the interact message from any phone. Don't forget to add your C-sharp script to your scene. Now let's test our game. If you don't want to connect the phone yet, you can set the browser start mode to virtual controllers on your Air Console object. That way, when you press start, you'll get two virtual phones to test your functionality with. You can always connect real phones using the connect code. When we click the button we made, we see the background color changing, so the communication between screen and controller works. Now let's build the game. Open the build menu and add your scene. Make sure to set platform to WebGL. Open the player settings and select the Air Console WebGL template. Export your build. This usually takes several minutes. Now that it's done, we can test our build using the Open Exported Port button on the Air Console game object. As we can see, our game works. In order to test your game online and receive a preview link to send it to other people, you can now upload your game to airconsole.com developers. For more in-depth information and best practices, please check out the guide section on developers.airconsole.com and find other useful links in the video description. Thank you for watching and have fun at Global Game Jam 2019.